welcome to the breakdown. Today, I'm going to be talking about the top five best mechanical keyboards in 2018. I'm going to go through my top five list here and at the end give you the best budget option as well as the best overall keyboard on our list. You can find all these links down below on Amazon. If you purchase those links, that is actually an affiliate link. We get a little kickback, no extra cost to you, but it helps support the channel. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. PC gaming, tech, all that awesome stuff coming to you every day. Now let's go into the video. So number one on our list is the Razer Black Widow. Not the Black Widow Chroma. The reason for that is because of the price increase. Guys, you can get just the 2014 Razer Black Widow that's going to be a balling freaking keyboard for 80 bucks. If you go with the Chroma version just for that RGB, you're looking at a hundred-ish dollar increase on that up to about 150 to 180 bucks depending on where you buy it from. That is freaking insane. I can't recommend that, but I can recommend the Razer Black Widow, just normal one green LEDs. That's what I have and it works perfectly fine. It's an awesome keyboard and it's only going to cost you 80 bucks. It features Razer's green switches, their own priority system, and I personally like them. They're really loud though and that can be a downside to it, but overall great, great keyboard. It also has five programmable keys on the left-hand side of the keyboard, allowing you to set up macros. Say you want to, if you're playing Fortnite or something and you want to be able to reach over there and build really quick, that can be what they're used for. I've also seen it used for, say, streaming, you know, if you want to switch different uh, streaming settings where you're, you know, maybe face cam, just that, into the game, into back to just a camera over here. You can do that very, very easily using those macro keys. Now moving on to number two, we've got the DOS Model S. DOS is like the cream of the crop for a lot of people of mechanical keyboards, and they're not usually thought of as a gaming keyboard. They're more of a professional workstation type keyboard, but that doesn't mean you can't game on them, and it doesn't mean they don't have incredible freaking keyboards. They're rocking the Cherry MX Blue switches on the DOS Model S, and I personally love this keyboard. We have one at our office, and it works flawlessly. The sound isn't as loud as, say, the Razer keyboard here, but it's still a really, really good quality keyboard, well built, and it features two USB 2.0 ports on the keyboard itself, which is extremely helpful. The Razer has one, which is good for a mouse, but it sucks because I can't charge my phone on it. The DOS, you can charge your phone and run your mouse at the exact same time using the two USB ports. Anyway, the DOS Model S is a very high quality keyboard, well built, absolutely awesome. Number three, we've got the Red Dragon K556 RGB. What is a mechanical keyboard video without some RGB, guys? Well, that's what the Red Dragon K556 offers. It's got round switches and it's the cheapest on our list at just 60 bucks. It's also IP67 waterproof, meaning if you accidentally spill water on your keyboard, you're not gonna freaking fry the Red Dragon. That's that's actually a really good thing, especially for the price. And if you decide, you know what, Nick, I don't need RGB, you can pick up the non-RGB version of this keyboard for just $37.99. Yep, 38 bucks, and you can have a ballin' mechanical keyboard rocking brown switches. I don't think these are cherry switches. I think they're their own imitation of brown switches. But from what I've seen, they sound great, they feel great, and for the price, you can't freaking beat them. You can check that out down below as well as uh, all the other ones on this list. Number four, we've got the Logitech G610. Now there is a big other like additional model string to this, but I'm not saying it. It is literally 11 numbers and that naming scheme is so horrible I refuse to participate in it. However, this is still a great keyboard. It's competitively priced at $79.40. It has Cherry MX brown switches in it, meaning you've got a good high quality switch that usually runs a little quieter compared to most switches, which is good. Some people like loud keyboards, some people like quieter ones, it really just depends, but that is a good thing about this keyboard. Something else interesting is you can actually program the F1 through F12 keys to do whatever you want. That means when you're gaming, you can reach up there easily, say again, in Fortnite and build with those keys or make weapon or inventory switching easier in other games. There are tons and tons of options for this, even say World of Warcraft, putting your abilities on the F12 through F5 keys, for example, would be a great option. The fact that this is natively supported is good because you can do this with other keyboards, but it's not natively supported and it can be 
a bit of a mess and a hassle to pull it off. However, with the Logitech G610, not an issue whatsoever. Last but not least on our list is the Corsair K95 RGB. This is a more higher priced premium RGB keyboard at $173. Pretty expensive in my opinion, but still worth it considering it's running the Cherry MX speed switches, which I've heard are a bit of a more premium switch and better overall. I've personally never used them, so I can attest to that, but that is what I've heard. This is, however, also at a little bit of a cheaper price. It only drops at about 10 bucks with Cherry MX brown switches, and it has six programmable G keys, as they call them, similar to the Razer we talked about earlier, where you can program them to do whatever you want, say, again, switch camera angles in a stream, build in Fortnite, things like that. Whatever you want to do, you can program those keys to do it. The Corsair K95 also features an all-aluminum case, which is unique to this keyboard, and I think because of that and the nice Cherry MX switches in it, it warrants the higher price. It is a big price to spend, though, at $173, so make sure you really want this keyboard before dumping the money into it. Now, what about our best budget option? Well, that's pretty obvious. That's going to be the Red Dragon K556 RGB at just $60 with awesome brown switches in it and cool RGB lighting. Again, want to mention the non-RGB version of that keyboard is just $38. If you're on a budget and need to buy a mechanical keyboard, that is the one I recommend. Best overall, I actually recommend the one I use, and that's going to be the Razer Black Widow. I might get some flack for that, but I've used that keyboard forever now, having went through two of them after my other one broke because of a bit of a water in the keyboard mess, and I still love it. I use it every single day, and it has stood the test of time with me, again, other than the water issue four or five years ago now. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos every single day of the week. We talk about tech, we talk about PC gaming, PC building, all of that awesome stuff. You won't regret it. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Check out the awesome videos on your screen, and I am out, guys. Peace.